Hello and thank you for watching this Dawson Tools instructional video for our DDM 180 manual range pocket size digital multimeter. Let's take a look at the features of the meter. The meter comes with a set of attached test leads that snap in and are stored on the right side of the meter. When you're ready to use the meter, simply detach and unwind the leads and you're ready to measure. To begin measurement, first move the function switch to the correct position. This is located right above the rotary switch. The functions from left to right are as follows. AC voltage, DC voltage, DC current, and resistance. The values of the ranges are listed at each position of the rotary switch along with the possible functions at each position. For example, the first position from off is capable of measuring up to 500 volts AC or DC and up to 2 mega ohms resistance. The second position is capable of measuring up to 200 volts AC or DC, 200 kilo ohms resistance and is the only position for measuring DC current up to 200 milliamps. To measure voltage, move the function switch to either the AC voltage or DC voltage position. Then turn the rotary switch to the appropriate range for measurement. Connect the test leads to the circuit and the display will show the measured voltage. To measure DC current, move the function switch to the current position and the rotary switch to the second position from off. Again. This is the only position in which current can be measured. Attempting to measure current in any of the other positions can damage the meter. Connect the leads in series to the circuit and the display will show the measured DC current. For resistance measurement, move the function switch to the resistance position and turn the rotary switch to the appropriate range. Connect the leads to the circuit and the measured resistance will show on the display. The last position of the rotary switch is for measuring diodes and continuity. Move the function switch to the resistance position. Connect the red lead to the anode and the black lead to the cathode of the diode and the display will show the forward bias voltage drop. In the same position, connect the leads to any circuit and the measured resistance will show on the display. If the measured resistance is less than 50 ohms, the meter's buzzer will sound. Thank you for watching this instructional video for the DDM 180. For more information on this and all our other products, visit our website at www.dawsontools.com.